sketch a graph of, and then they give us this ellipse formula. Now this time we have numbers up here in the numerator next to x and next to y. And that's going to change the center. In fact, let's start there. So here's the general setup. When you have y plus or minus, and oh, I should start with x, huh? So let me go back here. When you have x, whoops. So when you have x and a number squared over, well, this is, this is not helpful. I'm just going to say the opposite of this number and the opposite of this number is the center. The center of the graph is this number, comma, that number, opposite. So the center is going to be positive 1, comma, positive 2. So the way, the way we write it, I'll give you the official way we write it, um, is people write H, uh, and not H, they do not write H. They write X minus H squared over A squared plus Y minus K squared over b squared equals 1. That's the general form. And what they mean by that is positive h, positive k is the center. See how they took what was next to x there, negative h, and they took the opposite, and they took what was next to y there, and they, which was negative k, and they took the opposite, made it plus k. So it's opposite, opposite of what's next to opposite an opposite of what's next to x and y is the center. So the center is going to be 1, 2. So over 1, over 1, up 2, right there. Over 1, up 2 is the center. That's the middle of our egg shape, the middle of our ellipse. So you start with that. And then from there... Whatever's underneath x, remember you rewrite that as a square, and 1 is just 1 squared. And whatever's underneath x, that's always right-left. So that'll be right 2 from the center and left 2 from the center. And whatever's underneath y is up 1 and down 1 from the center. And then we just connect the edges with our egg shape. Mine doesn't look so good, but there, there we go. There's how we graph the egg shape. So again, we start with the center, which is the opposite of what's next to x and y. So write one up to, and then from that center, whatever's underneath x as a square, two squared go right and left two, whatever's underneath y as a square, one squared up and down one and that gets you the shape. Now, all of this fits in a box, we realize, like this. Here's the box. You don't need to draw the box, but I want, it, I want you to know it's there. So when I go to the graph making program in just a second, I'm going to click on the center, which is at, right here at 1, 2, and then I'm going to click on any corner. I'll click on that corner, which is the point, what, over 3, up 3. So I'm going to click on the center of the egg shape, the center of the ellipse, and then the corner of the box that holds the ellipse, which is at 3, 3. So 1, 2, and 3, 3. Let's go do it. Here it is. So down below, i got to first click on that. See that what's happening down below? I'm clicking on the ellipse maker. And then 1, 2, there's the center. And 3, 3, there's my edge. See, that perfectly makes the ellipse. Goes up and down 1, right and left 2, centered at 1, 2. There it is.